Hi guys, I wanted to go over Five Street, introduction to Five Street, and how to get all signed up if you missed the hands-on training in person. So we're going to talk about how to get set up, what it's all about. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So kind of to give you an idea of what Five Street actually is, Five Street basically takes the frustration out of online leads. What it's going to do for you when a lead comes in, it's going to go to your Five Street email, as you see here, and the client is then going to get a text message in about three and a half minutes, basically stating whatever you guys customize, which we'll do in a couple slides later. Um, so that way they're, they're reached out to right away. 4.2 minutes, they're going to receive an email, and then you're going to want to take that lead and put it into your CRM, um, whether you use Zap or another one, but uh, Zap is a great source to be able to follow up with your clients. And then you will get email and text notifications letting you know that that client is now yours and you've claimed that. So that's kind of how it works. It's very important with online leads that you get in touch with those leads very quickly so that they stop going and looking at another um, for another agent. So they've now received a text message from you, which is a very personal experience for most people. And um, they're hopefully going to respond to you and you'll be able to start working with that client. Um, how are leads going to be handled? Basically, there's two different ways, two different types of leads that you might be receiving. Uh, there are listing leads and personal leads. Those go to you and you do not have to claim them. They don't go out to any other agents. Um, that's the same as it's always been, uh, but now they'll go through Five Street and they'll be contacted right away. Um, then there are company generated leads. Basically, the first one to claim these leads um, gets that and there is a conversion team that you can go to elitescoop.com slash online leads to sign up for that team and agree to it um, the 25% referral fee and a 50 50 split um, and you can basically if you're on that team and you don't want to, you want to stop receiving those leads then you can be removed from that but it is an opt-in so not everyone um, will receive the company generated leads until you go to elitescoop.com slash online leads and sign up um, there's two different ways to be able to claim leads. The first one is via text message. If you see over here to the left, um, that is what it's going to look like. It's going to come from the same number, and you'll get that number once you register from Five Street. And you click the little link down at the bottom. It kind of looks like a um, it's like 7s.io slash us331. As soon as you click on that, it's going to take you to the picture right here in the middle. That's going to give you a green button to claim this lead. Uh, once you claim the lead, that lead then becomes yours. If it was one of the company generated ones and you're the one that received it, you will go to the third screen that says you have successfully claimed this lead. If somebody else claimed it before you, then it will say, unfortunately, another agent has gotten this lead. The, you will then receive the email and the phone number, whereas you can see in the previous ones, that email and phone number is blurred out. If it was on one of your own listing leads, that information would be displayed there for you. It wouldn't be hidden. Um, because you wouldn't actually have to claim it. Second way you can claim that lead is via email and kind of the same thing as soon as you're getting that text you're also getting an email that allows you to claim the lead and then it becomes yours. I want to take you through the simple setup steps so that you know that your Five Street is all ready to go. So the first thing would be um, the welcome email. If you've never logged in before you should have received a welcome email it will prompt you to log in and change your password right away. Within that email, there was a temporary password that was sent to you that you would need for that first time logging in. Some of you may have done that initially and still haven't um, gone back in and gone through the whole process. So you would have then, you might, to, might have to go in and change your password at that point, request password change. For logging into Five Street, you always go to fivestreet.com and you click log in. Make sure you don't click sign up now because then you could possibly be creating another account um, and you want to make sure that you log in. Once you're logged in, uh, the first thing you want to do is in the top right, you want to click on account and you just want to make sure in here that everything is correct, that your name is spelled correctly, you have the correct email, which should be um, your at coldwellbankerelite.com email and that your, the phone number there is your cell phone and you want to make sure your MLS is bright MLS with uh, your correct MLS number. Next, if you have a red bar at the top, red little ribbon banner going across the top that says confirm, confirm your phone number, you need to do that. That's linking it up so that you will receive text messages to your phone 
If you don't see that, that means that at some point you've already confirmed your phone number. Uh, so you go ahead and click confirm phone number. You'll then receive a text message and you want to go ahead and put your text message in to confirm your cell phone number spot and then hit continue. Next, you want to go uh, back up to account in the top right and you want to go to your notification settings. You want to make sure that these top four are all checked yes. Um, new lead notifications, yes, yes. Repeat lead notifications, yes, yes, even though it doesn't show it here on the screen. Um, broadcast notifications, yes, yes. And claim and unassigned notifications, yes and yes. If later on you decide you feel you're getting too many notifications, um, you can go back and uncheck those so that you don't get those. But this way, in the beginning, you're going to be getting everything. And then you want to go in and put your start and end time for text message notifications when you want to re receive text messages. And you kind of want to just put in here what your work hours are. So if you work 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., go ahead and adjust that 12 a.m. Um, to 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. And the include weekends button is checked yes, which I would imagine most of you want to keep checked yes. This is a really important one. You want to go to the response tab in the towards the middle of the screen. And you're going right now, if you've never done this before, it's going to show two buttons that say turn on, turn on. So you want to go in and turn both of these, um, both of these on. And you have the ability to customize these. And the way I want you to think of it is, especially with the text message or the email, if you've had a client where you're not able to reach out to them, what do you say to them? What is that text message? Um, I usually go to something like, I'm not in a place I can talk right now. When would be a good time for me to give you a call? Um, and for the text message one, you want to put your name, first and last name, and then Coldwell Banker Elite. Remember, this is the first, this is three minutes after they put that response in. So putting Coldwell Banker Elite there or Realtor at least explains to them, the client, that you are a Realtor and you were talking about that particular property because it's not going to be specific to that property. It's going to you know, say something like, thank you for your inquiry. It's not going to talk about that property address. Um, you might have a question about the phone number that you see right there. That is the phone number that they will, the client will receive the text from first. Uh, so you, you can change it and you can match it up to make sure that your area codes are the same. But you might just want to have that conversation with the client that says, hey, now this is my cell phone. You can you know, reach out to me through this cell phone number. If they call that number back directly or they um, text you back, it's going to go to you. And you can even have somebody test that number. If you call it, it just forwards directly to your cell phone. One thing you want to do when you're editing these messages, you want to make sure that you copy it. Uh, because sometimes, for whatever reason, 5 Street doesn't save it on this initial save. So just copy it after you type it in, hit save, and make sure to go back in to see that it did it. You might have to do it a couple times to get it to save. Same thing for the email responder. Once you hit customize, I would highly recommend copying your actual email signature and putting it in here so that it looks the same. They're going to get an email. It's going to come from you moving forward. It's the same and you have all your um, proper regulations in there. Do the same thing. Copy it before you save just in case it doesn't save it. So this is really important. Once you have this set up, you don't really have to necessarily go back in to do that unless you just wanted to update it. Uh, now you want to go to the lead sources tab and um, you should see a screen that looks like this right here and you'll see right in the middle you have your um, five street.me email address this is the email address that you'll want to put on various sites um, so that everything points to your five street and that way that the clients are getting that initial text message um, I was recommended by a few people to not use the connect with Google Mail as it does create some errors and some leads not getting through. So I would just skip that part there and um, make sure that you have this email address right here. Now, what you want to do with that email, the main places that you typically get leads from Realtor.com, Zillow.com, you want to change um, that email so that all those messages come through. So on Realtor.com, that's taken care of for you. So any leads that you get on your listings from Realtor.com are going to go straight through uh, the 5 streetme email. But we're going to go through these steps here. And if you want, you can pause because it talks through, has each step written down here for you. But I'll kind of walk through it real quickly. You want to go to Zillow.com. You want to log into your agent account and make sure that it's not your consumer account. You'll be able to tell that by seeing that they have the agent hub in the top right hand corner. You're then going to want to click account which will bring you to like what you see here in the picture. 
and I want you to take note of the email that's already in there. So either write it down um, or copy it. Make sure that you have that because you're going to need to put that back in in just a few minutes. So you're going to click um, right beside email. There's a button called Edit Email. You're going to click on that, and you're going to go back into Five Street, copy and paste that at Five Street Me email and put it in here. This is now going to be your new username for Zillow. So you want to write that down wherever you keep your passwords and usernames. Um, but your password will stay the same. So your new Zillow login will be this. <clears throat> and you might also get some emails um, from Zillow stating, hey, you've changed your information. And when you get a Five Street email that's not a new lead, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions. It does actually it's not a problem. It's going to say like Five Street did not process this email and then you scroll down and you'll actually see the email. Basically all that disclaimer at the top is telling you that it's not a new lead and a text message did not go out. So that's kind of where you're at, you know, with that. So once you have confirmed that, you want to go back in, hit manage email addresses and you're now going to copy and paste back in that email that you originally had. Um, and what's most important under this additional email addresses is that your whatever email you have linked with MRIS is one of those emails because that's what keeps your listings matched up with you. So that's a very important step. Next, we're going to update Zap. So you're going to log into cbexchange.com. You're going to click on the circle in the top right, uh, which is the springboard, and you're going to click on Zap. And then you might have to, depending on if you haven't done it in a while, you might have to put the same login back in for Zap. Once you get logged into Zap, you're going to click on your name in the top right hand corner. You're going to click on lead and notification settings. And you're going to simply change your email address here to your new at 5street.me email. Scroll down to the bottom and make sure that you save. And that's it for Zap, so it's much easier than Zillow. If you do have a Playster account, um, you're going to log into your Playster account. Over to the left hand side, you're going to click on Edit Site. And then you're going to click on Lead Capture and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you're going to then just simply add in your at 5street.me email address. And anywhere else that you might receive leads, uh, whether that's Top Producer or Boomtown or anything that you're paying for leads, you're going to want to go into those sites and change your notification to at 5street.me so that you know that all of your whole pipeline, your funnel of clients coming through are going through that 5street.me and they're getting that immediate text. If you have your own website, you want to go into that website and make sure that your notification email is switched over to your 5street.me so that, that so they're being funneled through that also. Um, there are different products that you can integrate with um, that work. If you go to back up to the top right account, you'll see um, the integration button there. And you can go in if you have top producer, you hit configure and it's going to have you log into top producer. Um, there's other different ones here. MailChimp is something that's popular with newsletters. You can configure that. These are just a few other things that you can configure with 5 Street. Basically, that's the, the rundown of 5 Street. It's pretty cool in the sense that once you've done all this, you don't really have to necessarily go back in. Um, your leads are all in there. So if you forgot a lead or if you got to, forgot to add it to your CRM, you can go in there and get their phone number and email from there. But you don't want to really use this as your CRM because um, that's not what it's meant to be. But I have on several occasions um, talked with the support for 5 Street, got a live person on the phone very quickly, and they're very helpful. So you want to put this phone number, 1-800-830-8300, uh, into your um, contacts or support at Realtor.com. 5 Street is owned by Realtor.com is why you see that. And they can help you out, especially if you're trying to get like your own site or some other um, place where you get leads set up. Um, they can help you through that process. But thank you guys for your time. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, we'll talk later. Thanks. Bye.